Hello again and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll show you a little bit more of Kanom and surroundings. If you're not into mass tourism and if you like it local and peaceful, then maybe Kanom is a place for you to visit. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. The Coral Pagoda gained its name because it is made from coral stone. The jetty is only a few kilometers from the sea and some people tie it to an ancient sea pilgrimage. According to the legend, it was founded when pilgrims from the town of Chaya were heading towards Nakonsi Tamarat, where the famous shrine was being built. A storm forced them to come into port and when locals told them that the temple in Nakonsi Tamarat had already been completed, they decided to donate their relics to a new jetty instead, and they built a coral pagoda. Tongqing Bay is a secluded bay in the north of Kanom with only one resort, Ban Tongqing. It is a 30 minute drive from Donsak Pier where you can take the ferry to Koh Samui. It is not easy accessible, but you will have the entire bay to yourself. The view is magnificent. They have different room types and prices start from 3200 baht. They also have a pool.
Korat is a small rock island next to Donsak Pier. It is connected with the mainland by a concrete bridge. You can walk around the island in only 30 minutes. There are a few restaurants and homestays, but when we were there in February, everything was closed due to COVID, even the school. The main activity on the island is fishing. Somebody cup, somebody cup. So that's it for now. If you want to see more of Kanoma and surroundings, then check out our next video. Until then, take care and thanks for watching.